Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Lauren Kolber. Thanks for watching KX News. In our top story tonight, North Dakota firefighters and police officers are asking for a seat at the table when it comes to decisions that affect their jobs. As our Malik Rankin explains, they're asking for lawmakers' help in making their jobs safer. House Bill 1463 would allow full-time firefighters and police officers to collectively bargain with their respective cities about the changes that affect their jobs. I spoke with the president of the Professional Firefighters of North Dakota, who says this bill would help them increase safety and standardize staffing. Staffing issues on the fire engines. You know, some, some cities in our state um, operate fire engines with, with different levels of staffing than others. And so that's really, really important to us. And, and um, to have that at a even, on an even playing field would really be nice as well. Collective bargaining would allow officers and firemen to negotiate their salaries and benefits. They say what's even more important, it would help them keep trained employees. And recruitment and retention is, seems to be an issue with a lot of departments in the state of North Dakota. When I talk to some of my uh, brother and sister firefighters and other from other states, they don't seem that have collective bargaining. They don't seem to have such an issue with with recruitment or retention. A dozen firefighters were at the Capitol hoping to explain to lawmakers their true intent with this bill. We are just wanting to be able to have a seat at the table when decisions want to be or need to be made. Local firefighters spent the day at the Capitol today hoping to educate them, and by this, they're hoping that they can sway a few votes in committee. Now, Malika, there's some worry if this passes that that could lead to employees striking, but that's not the case? No. So, actually, in this bill, there's a line that specifically says that firefighters and police officers cannot strike, and it's also against federal law, which supersedes state law anyway. All right, Malik, thanks for being here. Earlier this week, the committee hearing this bill did have a split vote, so next week, lawmakers will vote again. Bipartisan legislation dives into the issues of violent student behavior and school safety. North Dakota Senator Aaron O.